Yeah, welcome back. And we have a guest uh, in the studio right now. Gifted Cole is a professional boxer in the middleweight category in the U.S. Good morning. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. Thank mm -hmm. you guys for having me as well. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Great to have you. Okay. Is it great to have you? Yeah, it's great <laughs> to have you. But well, I imagine you would have been a lot excited to be on the show if we had Nigerian boxers at the Olympics, right? Of course. Yeah, that would be a perfect <laughs> and that would be a good thing. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's not the case. That's yeah. not what it's looking like. Mm. That's not the case. I mean, uh, no, for the first Sit time uh, uh, since 1988, I believe in Seoul, uh, Nigeria is not part in boxers at the Olympics. So yeah. your, your thoughts on that quickly. Yeah, for me, I would say um, it's really disappointing for Nigeria not to be in the Olympic, uh, the giant of Africa. Mm. And I must say, again, being an Olympic takes a lot of work, yeah. preparation. Mm. It takes you four to six years to train to go to Olympic. Mm. So for me, I think that there's no preparation. Mm. Whoever is in charge of sports or whoever is in charge of boxing, there's no much preparation. Mm. That's for me because you can't just go to Olympic. It's, it's hard. It's tough over there. So, so, so for the boxers, uh, they, they did not attend uh, the qualifiers that I was in, uh, in Dakar, Senegal uh, last year, uh, 2020. And... Um, uh, they had another opportunity for whatever reason. Now, we don't go into all of that. They didn't attend because of uh, uh, no funds, mm -hmm. right? They couldn't travel, so they missed uh, an opportunity to try and go and qualify uh, right there. Then the other opportunity, other window would have been uh, in Paris earlier this year, you know, but unfortunately that got cancelled uh, because of uh, COVID-19 and uh, they had to allocate uh, our sports uh, based on rankings and all of that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our guys are not... They're not up there. Yeah, that's 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 falling into the preparation again. I'm going to say, yeah. Sense. So you need to travel to different countries. Fight a lot. Fights mm. like they they have they're supposed to have a team that takes these boxers to mm. different African countries, even though they don't they don't want to go to overseas. Mm. At least we have Ghana down the streets. They're very good boxers over there. We have Cameroon, and I'm proud of Cameroon too. They have a boxer team in, in Olympic. Mm. So it's all falling into preparation. They should have been taking them somewhere yeah. to different countries to train mm. and get themselves ready for Olympics. That's a tough one. And if you check our medals hall so far at the Olympics, we have 25. And out of that, uh, uh, track and field has more. That's athletics, 13. And boxing coming second with six medals. And in Rio, we saw F.A. Jagba, you know, he was a real. And because of that, all eyes were definitely on him. I remember the interview he gave when he said it was all the hunger, frustration <laughs> he had, you know, why he was praying for Rio. Because we saw when he was training, I even spoke with him before he left to Rio, you know, at the National Stadium when the boxing gym was, and I saw until now, they fixed it. But then, you know, going hungry, not even have stuff to eat and, you know, everything. But then that's Rio. When he went to Rio, it brought him out. Everyone saw him. All right, now he's in the U.S. making waves in a heavyweight category. So now, if you don't have these boxes actually, going now because the last time we won a medal in boxing was in 1990s atlanta 96 which was just one medal that's a bronze medal that's a long time ago mm. so if you don't have the avenue where you want to bring out these athletes how do they even succeed and what are the things maybe boxers like you who want mm -hmm. to come home and try to make a difference do to ensure that maybe we can bring out these boxers you know in a bigger light and then people can actually pick from there and then talking about international competitions they can be going there even if the federation is not doing so much yeah, um, talking again on Ajaba Ife, mm -hmm. um, it's all come to what he put in. Because most of these boxers, this is a mistake they're doing. They're not really that disciplined to, to, um, to give time, more time to train, to train. Because you need to train, 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 and train hard. Understand your own self. Forget about your government. Forget about the country. You understand? Put it on yourself and your family. So he, for him, he have that drive to put himself on that map. Mm. Like going to Olympic, he put himself there because he trained hard. I remember seeing him in um, 2005, mm. training at National Stadium. Everybody has done training, He's, he was still training. Mm. You understand? So he got himself ready for this day. Mm. Yeah, interesting. So how do you bosses like you now kind to maybe encourage other boxers, uh, giving them the platform to really perform, you know, and excel maybe in, in boxing? Yeah, okay. Um, I have events coming up um, next month, August the 14th. Amateur event to picking up talents to take them overseas. Okay, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so um, these people want to encourage them because when you see what's going on in Nigeria right now, Lagos State, the kidnapping, the 
um, robbery and other stuff. Uh, I was almost mm. got, I almost got robbed the other day, me and my brother. Mm. So by some guys. Sad. And on a normal day, you can't just walk up to me. You want to rob me? Mm. You understand? So we're doing all we can to see how we can help these guys. So we have over 200 or 150 boxers in FHA on the 14th of August. Mm. It's going to be all amateur boxers. Okay. So I just want to pick the best fighters and give them a life. Uh, good, give them a good platform uh, to, uh, to progress their career. So, so where are you selecting these boxers uh, from? Are you just picking them off, off the streets or do uh, you go to uh, uh, stadiums around the country? Is it Lagos alone or across board? Um, I actually wanted to do Abuja, Potakot and Lagos. Okay. But since we're doing it in Lagos, anywhere you are in Nigeria, if you feel like coming down to Lagos, you can come down to Lagos. Oh. Once you're a boxer, you know you can take a punch, you mm. can fight, you can like represent the country one day. Mm. Interesting. So you, you're free to come. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an open uh, uh, competition, yes. really. Anyone can come. I can come and show myself yes, as well. Yes, because we're going to be helping mm. them. Okay, them. Um, I, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I could come and show myself. No, I, did, I didn't hear I that. Yeah. I am free to come they, as well, right? There are yeah. boxes yeah. that they are looking for. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you have it, what I talked about earlier. Nigeria's uh, boxing medal hall at the Olympics. If you take a look at this, what is looking like. Six in all. I mean, a bronze medal. The first time we went to the we won a medal was in 1964. Yeah, that was Nanjim Maegun. Yeah, Precisely, I mean. Yep. 72 won a bronze medal, uh, 84 we didn't win anything, but we won a silver in that one. Then 1992, which was one of the most successful times we went to the Olympics, won two a silver in that. And of course, 1996 we won a bronze medal. And after that, uh, well, there's nothing. Uh, this is 20, this is 2022, 2020, of course, Tokyo Olympic Games, and then hopefully, hopefully in 2024. We can't be talking about boxing again. Now, you just mentioned that you're going to have it's an all commerce thing. Anybody can come. I can even come. Is it open to male and female? That's yes, yeah, open or... to male and female. Okay. That's why you're a boxer. Okay. So you have to come participate. And we have like a, we're giving them cash prize, mm -hmm. okay, something for them to take back home. Okay. Oh, awesome. Interesting. So, what was the, if you have that, how many days is it going to be if you just have that platform? It's just going to be a one off and then you disappear. It's just a one day. Just one day. One I mean, day so, okay, yeah. after that day, you disappear. Are you going to continue with it? Yeah, or? I normally do this event every year, but okay. um, because of the COVID, I didn't come to Nigeria for, for quite a while now. So since I'm in Nigeria, now I have to do it. And mm -hmm. next year, we're doing the same thing. Same thing. And so, by God's okay. grace, I want you guys to put eyes on these boys. Mm -hmm. You'll see them someday in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Lord, okay. Loads of, loads of talented uh, boxers. Uh, uh, definitely in the country. I see them a lot. Uh, <laughs> every corner, every nook you go through, you see. We have too many boxers. Yeah, you just see them good. fighting and just uh, enjoy themselves. Uh, really. Um, uh, but for you personally, uh, before we let you go, professional boxer, did you go to the Olympics? No. Do you have any regrets about not uh, at least uh, making it to the Olympics? No, really. I don't have no regrets. Um, by God's grace, um, my platform now is very good. Mm -hmm. where I am today, and um, I'll be having some fights. Now tell us about that. Go back to tell United us about States. your upcoming fights. I, I was supposed to fight actually um, next month in Mexico, mm -hmm. but I have to turn down the fight because I have something doing on, in Nigeria. So after my events, I'm going back to the U.S. and start getting ready for October. Mm -hmm. You're 14 and 09 in all your fights. How has it been? <laughs> it's been good and great. Mm -hmm. Mm, 14 and 0. I'm beating middleweight category. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of monsters in that uh, division. You yes, know, there's and, a lot of strong people there. Mm. So you have to be strong mentally, physically, and spiritually mm. to be in there. I know as a Nigerian, of course, you don't have a choice. You just have to be strong <laughs> because if you, look like, look, if you go to UFC, for instance, there's a dominance in it, so we want to take it over to the boxing. If, if, if it's possible, heavyweight, of course, Anthony oh, Joshua, that's a Nigerian. So we have a proper, of we have a, okay, <laughs> of course, AJ is, is a proper Nigerian as well. Too. So Samuel Peters I was, mm -hmm. I was a WBC heavyweight champion of the world as well so all those years ago. So there's no reason. I mean, Dick Tiger, Ogun Kid Basi, can name... World champions have come out mm -hmm. of this country as yeah. well. So I sure. uh, wish you all the best uh, for the events and for your career as well. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for having Thank me. Thank you. Appreciate it's a call for joining us.